friends so today let us continue the numericals uh, i hope uh, yesterday we have solved the numericals you yeah, understood and uh, you might have done the practice for uh, more numericals so let us continue uh, more numericals uh, solving so i hope also you have revised the formulas which we are uh, requiring okay so at 120 volt dc shunt motor draws a current of 200 ampere so from this given data i will write simultaneously v is equal to 120 volt i l is given as 200 ampere the armature resistance ra is 0.02 ohm and shunt field resistance r sh it is equal to 30 ohm find the back emf and speed at which motor will run if the lap wound armature has 90 slots with four conductors per slot and flux per pole is 0.04 weber so phi is given to you as uh, 0.04 weber then uh, uh, it is a lap wound uh, armature so lap wound means a is equal to Uh, a is equal to p uh, that is uh, but p value is not mentioned so a is equal to p as it is lap one then for z it is given number of slots are 90 and conductors per slot are uh, four so 90 into 4 will be the value of z so z is equal to uh, 300 and 60 okay so and we need to find the back emf eb and speed with which motor will run so n we want to find so from this uh, given data is v is equal to 120 volt il is equal to 200 ra is equal to 0.02 rsh is uh, 30 ohm a is equal to p as it is lap ohm slots 90 Conductors four per slot, so value of Z is equal to 19 to 4 is equal to 360, and phi is 0.04 weber. This is the diagram. Um, as it is a shunt uh, motor, so it is operating as a motor and having a shunt winding. So field winding in shunt have uh, shown armature winding is shown uh, operating as a motor. So M R S H R A and Uh, supply voltage uh, VA is shown. Now it is operating as a motor, so it will draw current from this supply. So I L is moving in armature, I S H and I A. That means I L is equal to I A plus I S H, and I S H value you can find by uh, I S H is equal to V A upon R S H or V A or V supply voltage V upon Uh, RSL. So V is given as uh, 120 volt upon RSL as 30. So it is equal to 4 ampere. Now I we need to find I L is given as 200. So I L minus I S H will be I L. So I A is equal to I L minus I S H. 200 minus 4. It is equal to 196 ampere. Now E B from voltage equation you can find E B is the back EMF here. So E B It is equal to V minus I A R A. So E B is equal to V minus I A R A. Substitute the values V as 120 volt, I A as 196, and R A as 0.02. So simplify this, you will get the value of E B as 116.08 volt. Now value of E B is known to you now. You know also one more equation for E B. As E B is equal to phi P N Z upon 60 A. In this, you substitute value of E B as 116.08. We have just calculated phi as 0.04 given. P you substitute as if P. Then N is unknown. You substitute it as N. Z number of conductors we have calculated as 360. Then 60 into A. A is P as it is lap wound, so substitute A as P. Now P and P will get cancelled here. 
though the value is not given to you but p and p will get cancel as it is a lap wound so p will get cancel so only unknown in this equation is m if you will simplify this you will get the value of n as n is equal to 483.67 rpm as it is a speed in rpm i hope you understood this numerical let us go for the next a 200 volt dc series motor is running at a speed of 800 rpm and draws 100 ampere so v is given as 200 it is a series motor and uh, running at a speed n is given as 800 rpm and draw the current 100 ampere so at 800 rpm it is drawing 100 ampere so n1 is 800 and ia1 as it is series motor ia is equal to ise is equal to il so it is ia1 i'll write because for one speed it is one current and we want to calculate another speed and at that speed where half the torque that is half of the torque value is required that is half the current uh, so ia2 will be half of ia1 and at that particular time we need to find n2 so that's why i have written here n1 n2 i a1 and i a2 so the relation between i a1 and i a2 that you can find uh, it is half the torque the armature resistance ra is given as 0.06 ohm and r se is given as 0.04 ohm and the magnetic field is unsaturated okay it's of no use uh then if this is the question from sppu december 2006 uh, for eight marks so from this uh, given data is this v is equal to 200 volt n1 is 800 rpm ia1 is uh, 100 ampere torque 2 and torque 1 the relation between these two torques it is t2 is equal to 0.5 t1 then ra is equal to 0.06 or se is equal to 0.04 now eb1 voltage equation we know we will find the back emf uh, for first speed or first armature current okay so eb1 is equal to v minus ia1 ra plus rac so that is eb1 is equal to v is 200 volt given ia1 is 100 ra and rac 0.06 and 0.04 so after simplifying this eb1 is coming out as 190 volt right now torque is directly proportional to phi into ia as it is a series motor phi is proportional to ia so phi is proportional to ia means torque will be proportional to ia square so as it is a series motor torque is directly proportional to ia square so if i will write two different torque equations in terms of two different current equations so it will be t1 proportional to ia1 square and t2 proportional to ia2 square so if i will take the ratio of t1 and t2 it will be t1 upon t2 is equal to ia1 square upon ia2 square right now substitute the values of t1 t2 ia1 ia2 so in terms of t1 and t2 you know the relation t1 upon t2 is equal to 1 upon 0.5 so t1 upon t2 is equal to 1 upon 0.5 and ia1 value it is uh, 100 ampere and ia2 we need to find so from this you will get the value of ia2 so 1 upon 0.5 equal to 100 square upon ia2 square so from this if you will simplify this you will get the value of ia2 as 70.71 ampere so value of ia2 is known to you now so from this you can find the value of eb2 that is the back emf at this particular armature current so eb2 is equal to v minus from voltage equation so eb2 is equal to v minus ia2 into ra plus R S E, 
So substitute the values. V is equal to 200. IA2 just calculated 70.71. RA plus RAC as 0.06 plus 0.04. So after simplifying this, you will find that the value of EB2 is coming as 192.93. So we have got the values of EB2. Now uh, we know that. Tan is directly proportional to E B upon phi. As phi, it is a series motor, so phi is proportional to I A. So n is proportional to E B by I A. Now, as n is proportional to E B by I A, I can write these two equations for uh, different values. That is, n one is proportional to E B one upon I A one, and n two. Is equal to E B two upon I A two. If I will take ratio of N one and N two, it will give me N one upon N two is equal to E B one upon I A one divided by E B two upon I A two. If I will simplify this, it is equal to E B one upon E B two, and I A two will go in numerator and I A one at denominator. So N one by N two. It is equal to E B one upon E B two into I A two upon I A one. Now in this, you substitute all the values. Only N two is unknown. N one is eight hundred. E B one is one ninety. E B two is one ninety two point ninety three. I A two is seventy point seven one. I A one is hundred. So if you will simplify this, you will get the value of N two as one one four eight point eight rpm. So this is the value of speed which were which was asked. I hope you have understood this numerical. Next, a 250 volt DC shunt motor. So V is given as 250. It is a DC shunt motor, and armature resistance RA is 0.15. RSH is 125. Then full load motor. A full at full load motor draws 50 ampere current from supply and runs at 15,000 rpm. Uh, sorry, 1500 rpm. So that means uh, full load uh, current is given to you. That is I L one uh, is 50 ampere and uh, N one you can say it is 1500 rpm. determine the speed of motor when motor draws 15 ampere current from the supply means we want to find n2 for which i1 is 15 ampere uh, il2 so il1 is 50 ampere at that time uh, n1 is 1500 we want to find n2 at uh, n um, il2 as 15 ampere okay so from this We'll tackle this problem by writing given data. V is equal to 250 volt. RA is 0.15. RSH is 125. IL1 50. N1 1500. IL2 as 15 ampere, and we want to find N2. Now, from this, as it is a shunt uh, motor, you can draw the diagram. Same diagram you can uh, repeat again and again, um, so that um, it will be habituated to you. Uh, but um, for uh, simplification purpose, I have not drawn it. You can draw it till uh, you will get a good practice. Okay, so therefore, I S H is equal to V upon R S H. So V uh, substitute the values 250 by 125. So I S H is coming out as 2 ampere. Now we know that I A one is equal to I L one minus I S H. And I A two is equal to I L two minus I S H. That is the uh, armature current. We can uh, take uh, calculate it from the total current and uh, the current drawn and the shunt uh, winding current. So for first case, it is fifty, and uh, I S H is two. So I A one is coming out as forty eight ampere, and for second case, I L two is fifty ampere. And I S H will remain same for both the cases, so it is two only. So I A two will become 
13 ampere now ia1 is 48 ampere and ia2 is 13 ampere also from voltage equation we can uh, find out values of eb1 and eb2 for this ia1 and ia2 so eb1 is equal to v minus ia1 ra so substitute the value and eb2 is equal to v minus ia2 ra ia2 is 13 ia1 is 48 Rest value is same. V is 250, R is 0.15. So V is 250, R is 0.15. If you will simplify these two, you will find the value of EB1 as 242.8 volt, whereas EB2 is equal to 248.05 volt. Now we know that N is directly proportional to EB, so we can write N1 proportional to EB1 and N2 proportional to EB2. Take ratio of n1 and n2, so it will be n1 upon n2 is equal to eb1 upon eb2. Now eb1, eb2 are known to you, and n1 is known to you 1500. Only n2 is unknown, so you can substitute the values of uh, all this here and find the value of n2. So n2 is equal to n1 into eb2 upon eb1. That is 1500 into 248.05 divided by 242. Eight. If after simplification, you will get value of N2 as 1532.4 rpm, 1532.4 rpm. So this is the value of N2. Okay. Now, next numerical. I hope you have understood this numerical. A 250 volt DC shunt motor has armature circuit resistance of 0.2 ohm. And field resistance of 125 ohm. So it is a shunt motor. V is given as uh, 250 volt. R A is uh, 0.2 ohm and R S H is 125 ohm. It runs at 1500 rpm and draws a current of 50 ampere on full load. So N F L. And I F L, or you can write I one and uh, N one, fifteen hundred and fifty. Uh, Calculate the speed at half load condition. So half load condition means for current which is half of this, find the value of speed. Right. Uh, so that uh, we need to find so, um, N two. So from this, we'll first write the given data. V is equal to 250 volt. R A is equal to 0.2. R S H 125 ohm. N F L, or you can write N1 even, 1500 rpm. I L 1 or I L F L is 50 ampere. We want to find half load uh, speed at half load current. Uh, half load. Uh, we want to find the speed. So, um, as it is a shunt motor, we can find I S H is equal to V upon R S H. Values are given 250 and 125, so 250 divided by 125, so it comes out to be 2 ampere. So I A F L full load current, uh, armature current, that is equal to I L F L minus I S H. I S H is constant for full load, half load, uh, for any uh, values, it will remain constant. So for I one, I two, I one, I two, I S H will remain same. So from this, you can find by subtracting this, I A F L will be 50 minus 2 ampere. So it is coming at 38 ampere. And E B you can find at full load. From voltage equation, as E B is equal to E B full load is equal to V minus I A at full load into R A. So I A at full load is 48 ampere. So for this 48 ampere, you can find the value of E B. So E B is equal to 250 minus 48 into 0.2. If you will simplify this, you will come. It will come as 240.4 volt as E B. So this is E B one. You can say or E B F L. Right now, T1 is the torque at full load, and IA1 is the armature current at that particular uh, torque. Then half for half load torque, T2 is given by T2 is equal to T1 by 
because half of the torque that is t2 is equal to t1 by 2 2 and we know from analogy that ia2 is equal to ia1 by 2 how so for that you can see this for shunt motor phi is constant as torque is proportional to phi into ia for shunt motor this phi value is constant so torque is proportional to ia so you can write various torque equations at various current equations uh, current values so t1 proportional to ia1 t2 proportional to ia2 if you will take ratio of t1 and t2 it will be equal to ia1 upon ia2 now substitute the value of t1 upon t2 as t1 upon t2 will be equal to 2 right so 2 is equal to ia1 upon ia2 that means ia1 uh, ia2 is equal to ia1 upon 2 so that is the half load torque so if torque is half means the current is half so ia2 will be uh, ia1 by 2 right therefore now eb at half load that is eb2 you can say yeah, it is equal to v minus ia at half load into ra now ia at half load uh, you know that ia at full load divided by 2 ia at full load it is coming as uh, 48 ampere ia at full load is 48 ampere so ia at half load will be divided by 2 that is 24 ampere so v as 250 volt ia half load as 24 ampere and ra same as 0.2 so if you will simplify this eb at half load it is coming out as 245.2 volt now if you will take the ratio of n half load and full load so n fl upon n hl is equal to eb fl upon eb hl or n is directly proportional to eb so n1 upon n2 is equal to eb1 upon eb2 in this you can substitute the values Uh, three values are known and one value is unknown so n hl half load is equal to n fl into eb at hl divided by eb at fl so that is equal to 1500 into 245.2 divided by 240.4 it comes out to be 1529.9 rpm so this is the value of the speed which we were interested to find so i hope we understood this numerical also next a 230 volt a uh, shunt motor takes 5 ampere on no load and runs at 750 rpm so simultaneously we will write the given data v is equal to 230 volt il uh, at no load or you can write il 0 or il 1 you can write il at no load it is 5 ampere so il nl equal to 5 ampere and n nl speed at no load it is 750 rpm then ra value is given as 0.25 and rsh is given as 115 uh, you make a note that always shunt wheel resistance is more than the armature resistance the armature value is always less than 1 uh, ohm but field value uh, resistance if it is a shunt motor then it will be having a uh, larger value okay so 115 ohm uh, is so while uh, writing this uh, don't make uh, the values uh, reverse ra as uh, 115 ohm and rsh as 0.25 so uh, so you Uh, take care while uh, writing because the sequence of uh, uh, given values in numerical it may be uh, reverse that is here it is given shunt field and armature resistance so shunt field is given first and then armature in most numericals armature resistance is given first and then field resistance is given so mhanje garbadit gondal karu naka exam madhe okay so ra is 0.25 and rsh is 115 n1 we need to find calculate the speed of motor when loaded and uh, taking a current of 55 ampere so at this current il1 we need to find n1 and assume that 
flux becomes weak by 4% under load condition that means if flux value is 5 uh, initially uh, then it will be reduced by 4% that means uh, it will be reduced by 0.04 in 100 uh, that is in 1 uh, so in 100 it is 4 uh, reduction so uh, the relation between phi 1 and phi nl will be phi 1 is equal to 0.96 phi nl okay now this is the given data from this uh, first uh, it is shunt uh, motor so we'll find out first uh, the shunt current so ish is equal to v upon rsh that is equal to 230 upon 115 so it is equal to 2 ampere now ish is known to you il no load is known to you so you can find the il ia value at no load so ia at no load it is equal to il at no load minus ish so that is equal to 5 minus 2 it is equal to 3 ampere and from voltage equation you can find the value of back emf at no load so eb at no load it is equal to v minus I at no load into RA or V is equal to EB no load plus IA no load into RA. Substitute the values V as 230, EB NL we want to find and IA 3 just we have calculated and RA 0.25. So from this we will get uh, the value of EB no load it is equal to 229.25. Now IA 1 is equal to IL 1 minus ish so ia1 you can find as 55 uh, il1 is given minus ish will remain constant so it is at 2 so 55 minus 2 is equal to 53 ampere so ia1 is now 53 ampere at this ia1 what is the value of eb1 that will find out from the voltage equation eb1 is equal to v minus ia1 ra V is same to 30 volt. IA1 will be now 53 ampere and RA will be same 0.25. So from this, after simplifying this, you will get EB1, it is equal to 216.75 volts. Now, as we know that speed N is directly proportional to EB upon 5. So from this relation, we can write various speeds at various values of EB and phi. So that means N NL, no load, that will be EB NL divided by phi NL and N1 is equal to EB1 upon phi 1. Or you can write even in terms of 1 and 2. N1 is equal to EB1 upon phi 1, N2 is equal to EB2 upon phi 2. And take a ratio of uh, N1 and N2 that is N NL upon N1 is equal to EB NL upon phi NL into phi 1 upon EB1. So um, from this you substitute all the values except N1. N1 is unknown. N NL is 750. N1 is unknown. EB uh, NL it is 229.25. Then EB1. EB1 is 216.75 and phi 1 upon phi nl phi 1 upon phi nl that relation is given to you phi 1 is equal to 0.96 phi nl so phi 1 upon phi nl will be equal to 0.96 so substitute phi 1 upon phi 1 nl as 0.96 and simplify this to get the value of n1 as 738.65 rpm i hope you understood this numerical also Almost all the numerical solution method is the same. Uh, only frequent formulas uh, you will require as the same formulas. So try to uh, remember uh, those formulas and uh, try to practice it more. If you will practice more, then you will be easily able to solve it in the exam and uh, fast you can solve. And as you will be able to solve them fast, you will be able to complete your paper very fast and you can score this paper okay so of 200 volt six pole dc shunt motor has 600 lap connected armature conductors so v is given as 200 capital p is given as six then z is given as 
600 and it is lab connected. So A value, A is given as A is equal to P is equal to the number of poles that is 6. So A is equal to P is equal to 6. Then if armature resistance, now RA is given as 0.1 and RSH shunt field resistance is 100 ohm. RA and RSH given. Assuming flux per pole, that is phi is given as 0 0.06 Weber. Calculate the speed of motor when it draws 20 ampere from supply. So we need to find N at um, I L equal to 20. Okay. So from this we'll write first given data. V is equal to 200 volt, P is equal to 6, Z is equal to 600, A is equal to P is equal to 6, is equal to, uh, that is the lab connection, RA is equal to 0.1 ohm, RSH is equal to 100 ohm, phi is equal to 0 0.06 Weber, and IL is equal to 20 ampere given, and for this IL, we need to find the speed M. Now, as it is a shunt motor, you can draw the diagram till uh, you will practice uh, perfectly. So, uh, draw the, uh, try to draw the diagram at every numerical. So, which will practice you uh, more. So, therefore, ISH is equal to V upon RSH. Substitute the values 200 divided by 100. So, ISH will be equal to 2 ampere. Now, ISH value is known to you. IL is given to you. From this, you can find the value of IA as IA is equal to IL minus ISH. IL is 20, ISH is 2, so it will be 18. IA is equal to 18 ampere. So, IA value is known to you now. Now, from this, uh, from voltage equation, you can find the value of EB uh, back EMF at this particular value of current. Okay. So, EB is equal to V minus IARA. Substitute the value, G as 200, I as 18, just we have calculated, and R as 0.1. So, after simplification, we will get the value of EB as 198.2 volt. So, EB value you got. Now, you know another equation of EB as EB is equal to 5 P and Z upon 60 A. So, in this, you substitute the value of EB as 198.2, phi as 0 0.06, P is given as 6. N is the only unknown, Z is given as 600, 60 as it is, and A is equal to P is equal to 6 as it is a lab form. So, A is equal to 6. So, simplify this, only unknown is N, we will be able to find the value of N as N is equal to 330.33 RPM. I hope you understood this numerical also. We will next move to next. The lap wound armature of a four pole DC shunt motor has 600 armature turns and it takes 100 amperes when running at 600 RPM. So, the given data is P is given as 4, lap wound. So, A is equal to P is equal to 4. It is given. Then, shunt motor it is given. Z is given as. Uh, 60 armature turns. So, number of turns are given as 600. So, if you want to calculate the value of Z, then for every turn, there will be two conductors. Uh, so, value of Z will be 2 into 600. That will be the Z. Okay. So, you have to keep in mind all these things. You, you should uh, read the numerical very carefully. Okay. And it takes 100 amperes. Uh, so, IA is given to you uh, as uh, 100 ampere and running at 600 RPM. So, N is given as 600. Flux per pool is uh, phi is given uh, as uh, 100 into 10 raise to minus 3 Weber. Calculate the gross mechanical torque developed uh, and the net power output if the torque lost in friction and windage core losses is 60 Nm. So, T lost is given as 60 Nm. 
So you need to find a TA first, and then from TA you have to uh, subtract this T loss. Then you will get the uh, actual um, gross mechanical torque. That is TSH. TSH equal to TA minus T loss. And TA, you know. Uh, the formula one upon two pi into phi into I A into P Z upon A or point one five nine phi I A P into Z upon A. So from this you can find T A, T S H. Uh, you can find by subtracting uh, T loss from T A and uh, P out. We want to find so output power P out is equal to T S H into omega. That is uh, T S H into two pi m by sixty. Okay, so we we'll start uh, solving this numerical by writing the uh, given data first. Uh, I hope we'll be able to complete this uh, numerical. So P is equal to four, tons is equal to six hundred, I A is equal to hundred, N is equal to six hundred RPM, A is equal to P is equal to four as it is the left one. Then phi is equal to hundred into ten raised to minus three over. T loss is 60 uh, nm. T S H we need to find and P out we need to find. Now Z first we'll find number of turns are 600 and for every turn there are two conductors. So Z is equal to two into number of turns that is equal to two into 600 that is 1200. That is the value of Z. Now T A you know that T A is equal to 0.159 into phi into I A into P Z upon A. In this equation, you can substitute the values of phi, I, A, P, Z, and A, and you will get the value of T. So, T A is equal to 0.159 into phi as 100 into 10 raised to minus 3, I A as 100, P as 4, Z as 1200, and A as 4 as it is left one. So, from this, we will get the value of T A. If you will simplify the value of T A, it is coming out to be one nine zero eight point one nine zero eight nm newton meter. As it is torque, it is given in newton meter. Now we want to find T S H shaft torque that is equal to T A minus T loss. So T A we have calculated. T loss is given as sixty nm, and uh, T A we have calculated as nineteen hundred and eight. So substitute the values 1908 minus 60. So it is coming out as 1848 nm. So T S H is coming as 1848 nm. Now if you want to find P out, then P out is equal to T S H into omega, where omega is 2 pi n upon 60. So T S H value is 1848. Substitute the value of T S H. And two pi as it is, one eight four eight into two pi into n. N is given as six hundred and sixty. This is sixty as it is. So if you will simplify this, P out is coming out uh, coming to be one one six point one one kilowatt. So one hundred and sixteen point eleven kilowatt is the answer of P out. So. i hope time is time will not permit us to solve the next numerical or uh, yes it is the time is there so we'll start next numerical and uh, no no i hope uh, time is over so we'll stop here today and uh, we'll continue with the uh, numericals in uh, next class also so let us stop here thank you bye good day and